Now that's a happy ending. I know, Beautiful. Right? Oh. Well, one animal in Colorado's high country could be a key indicator mm -hmm. of the health of our alpine ecosystem. It's the pika. It's related to the rabbit. In our Eye on Earth report, Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Learys says data from a new study may show surprising results. Years ago, the pika was almost put on the endangered species list, but we didn't know enough about the creature to do that. Now, that's no longer true thanks to an award-winning study. And we also know how critical the species is to climate change. Pikas, they're about the size of a russet potato with really soft gray or brown fur and Mickey Mouse ears. If you've never seen a pika, it's likely while hiking, you've heard one. They're that classic squeaky toy noise. Here at more than 12,000 feet, it's prime habitat. I am sitting in Talus, which is what we call these like rock piles up here in the mountains. And Talus is the habitat of pikas. Over the years, hundreds of volunteers have contributed thousands of hours to studying them. It's called the Pika Project. This summer is really the summer that we've reached, like cruising altitude with getting our site surveyed. Thanks to Jen Proust, there are 83 sites to collect data from across the White River National Forest. The pika rely heavily on alpine habitat, and so they're considered an indicator for how climate change may be affecting the alpine ecosystem. So they're essentially a sentinel or a canary in the coal mine for how alpine ecosystems are doing. They won't survive if it gets too warm and rely on good snowpack in the winter for insulation. The idea is that by looking at this one animal that's pretty easy to look for and listen for, we can get a sense of how the whole ecosystem is doing. And it's such an important ecosystem for Colorado. While there's more data to collect, so far the news is good. It's that populations seem to be widespread across the forest and trends do appear to be stable, but we need at least a couple more years of monitoring to really start to answer that trends question. And hopefully with this kind of volunteer participation that we're getting, we'll be able to get a long-term data set to look at trends over time. If you would like to be a volunteer and help with the data collection, we've got more information online at cbsdenver.com. Reporting from Loveland Pass, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.